Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Today I am here to talk to you about three pieces of advice to help you manage a team. Now I've written this out in full length on the blog, which you can go read on francescamcohen.com, but here are my top three tips when it comes to managing a team. So first and foremost, you really have to determine the role that you need to hire for. It's so easy as you grow, you just quickly grab whatever role you think you need to put in your business. However, this is not going to set you up for success. So I always say, get out a piece of paper, draw a line down the middle, and on one side, write out all the tasks that you love doing that only you can do in your business. And on the other side, write down a list of everything that you hate doing or that you think somebody could do better. And then you can use the, that list on the right side as your kind of key markers of what role you need to hire it almost becomes their job description. So for example, if a lot of the things on that right side of your to-do list or on the right side of a piece of paper are all finance-based, then you probably should hire a bookkeeper or a CPA or an admin who's going to organize you and set you up for success financially. The second tip I would say is to empower your team. And no, this isn't to wait till the end of the year to do some sort of formal sit down and tell them what they were excellent at and what they could use to have opportunities of improvement for. This is really empowering them. So bringing them on the team and actually making them feel like part of the team. So if you're doing a launch, for example, share some of that percentage as a bonus for your team members so they're equally involved in it as you are. And my last and third tip is find a number two. I have always had a number two ever since I can remember. I personally need that buffer between myself and the client or myself and another team member because that is where I create my zone of genius and I am actually working in my business, on my business and not in my business. So finding yourself a number two um, means that you're going to work your best and be your best self for your business. And let's face it, without you, your business is not the same. So it's really important to make sure that you're setting yourself up for success. Now, if you're still struggling about who you should hire or when you should hire or what you should look for when you hire, I offer 30 minute discovery calls. So let's jump on a call, we can have a quick chat, I can answer any questions that you may have. Or if you're not there yet, but you are working or interested to design a business that will give you a lifestyle you love where you can start hiring a team, then feel free to watch my free masterclass or sign up for the Lifestyle You Love Business System. If you have any questions, drop them down below and I'll see you next time.